Hiya, hey, uh, welcome back to part two of the Isle of Arran series. In part one, I showed the journey up to Ardrossan and then the ferry across to Brodick. For info, when you arrive at Brodick Ferry Terminal, there's a co-op right outside so you can stock up on all your essentials and goodies for your trip. So just a few facts about Arran. Lying off the west coast of Scotland, it's the seventh largest Scottish island. It covers an area of approximately 432 square kilometres and has a population of just under 5,000. It's known affectionately as Scotland in miniature and this is because of the Highland Boundary Fault that divides the island into Highland and Lowland areas. A person belonging to the island is known as an Aranac and that's not to be confused with someone like me who prattles on at any given opportunity about a VW camper van. I'm an anorak. Anyway, my first destination was the Heritage Museum, which was just over a mile down the road. And the beauty of driving here is that you can't really get lost. There's just one main road that goes right round the coast and one that goes across from Brodick to Blackwaterfoot called the stream. This was originally the site of a small school and the buildings here today were once a croft and a smithy. it with my electric bike. These bellows are huge. As well as the social history exhibitions, there's also a geology area and an archaeology room, but there appeared to be a talk ongoing in the archaeology room. There's a cafe on site too. The hotel texts you your pitch number before you arrive and they ask that you park up first and then walk to reception to check in. Oh, the big pitches.
warning, those that like exciting breakfast look away now. Yesterday when I arrived I went straight to the Aran Heritage Museum which was really interesting, nice little walk around and spent about an hour there and then came straight up to the site here at Okrani and set up and basically crashed out. <laughs> I think I've been overexcited like a like a child and I just uh, zonked out really early, slept beautifully and woke up about six o'clock. Today my plan is there's so much to see in Brodick but I don't want to spend all of my time here so I thought I'd head up the east coast through Corrie, Sanox and up towards La Cranza Castle and at some point on that way I'll find somewhere to spend tonight because I want to wild camp tonight and get a real feel for the island. I'm hoping the sun pops out later. But you don't come to Scotland for the sunshine, do you? You come to Scotland for the amazing, incredible scenery, the lovely people. The sun is just a bonus. On the bowl with the bin emptying. It's a pristine resort, um, lovely facilities, spa facilities, swimming pool and the motorhome pitches are all gravel, hard standing pitches. I think there are one, two, three, six? Oh no, there must be eight because I'm pitch number eight. Mm -hmm. village of Corrie which is just about five or six miles outside of Brodick up the east coast. How old is too old for swings? Or are you never too old for swings? Let me know in the comments. peaceful so still this little village also has a hotel a church a shop and a golf course I say never too old. When I arrived I asked this gentleman if I was okay parking where I did and we'd ended up having a really good conversation.
This place had coffee stop written all over it. Lunch with a view. off-grid park up. <sighs> What's that image? 